Hi, welcome. Today I would like to discuss uh, how in MongoDB uh, you can use uh, Unwind and the Aggregate Framework. So let's get started. Uh, basically, I have a collection uh, where I'm just searching here. Funny Numbers is the name of the collection. I'm just searching to see if name exists is true. And if I do that, I basically end up getting two records, which you can uh, just see here. And you can also see it in the tabular form like this. Basically, there's a value, is a number, name is some particular name. And here you can see the skills which is an array of uh, what a programming skill somebody might have. So if I just go back to the text uh, version of this, so I only have two records and I keep that to be simple so I can kind of show you how to do this thing, uh, the unwind. Uh, but as you might have noticed, the skills is an array here right now. So to be able to ex uh, use the aggregate framework, uh, what you can do is, uh, when you are trying to count certain things, you have to use uh, in MongoDB the aggregate framework. So here you can do the aggregate framework. Typically to do the aggregate from where you can uh, specify a pipeline and pipeline is usually just an array. So you can put things in the array and uh, be able to run this thing. So if you just run it, uh, this pipeline, it's going to match everything and you'll see all of the records showing up, including the one which we had before where the name was uh, name field existed. So I'm going to introduce a little uh, thing I have uh, set up here so I can kind of demonstrate. Let me uh, just copy this part of the query here. So uh, essentially what it is saying is uh, in this pipeline where we are trying to aggregate, we want to match everything where the name exists is true. And we only have one item here right now. So let's just run this thing. So you should get back what you had initially. Uh, the two uh, two records uh, which are two documents which have a name so next thing i want to do is instead of having the skills being as part of an array uh, this is where the unwind operator comes in i want to be able to count uh, uh, something say on a particular skill like mongodb so what you can do is expand this uh, document array uh, both of these and to do that, you can use what is called the unwind aggregate operator. And to do that, uh, I'm going to uh, insert this here. Let me just show you. Uh, basically, uh, we got this data through the pipeline. So we are passing this through. Now I'm saying I want to unwind on this array, which is the skills. And let's see what would be the outcome of this if I run through this. So here you can see that I've gotten many more records now. It's basically expanded. And that's what unwind is. So I have skills MongoDB, skills C sharp, and everything has been now unwinded. Why would I want to do this unwind? Is basically if I wanted to perform some aggregate operations based on a particular skills, for example, I could do that. So I have some examples. So let me just kind of copy the next stage of the pipeline here. Next stage of the pipeline, I'm going to say I'm only interested in uh, things that have to do with MongoDB. So I'm going to match again on this thing and get uh, records which only have MongoDB. So here you can see that this is uh, really not as an array. Now it's just showing up as MongoDB. So the next tip I want to show is how I can run the aggregate or group by. So I have a certain example here. Let me just copy this. And this is going to be doing a group and ID is uh, essentially the skills. And I want to uh, just essentially copy how many people have MongoDB skills. So I use the dollar sum operator. Basically for every record that it is matching its group, going to group by skills. And since we only have two records, this uh, skills, uh, this uh, new value should be skills. Uh, maybe let's just make it a new field called skills new and uh, see how that shows up. So it says uh, skills new is about 2.0 because there are two people who had the MongoDB. Uh, next thing you can do is instead of just summing the one, you can uh, essentially, if you recall, there was a field called dollar value in those records. So I can sum those as well. So you can see the skills uh, sum would be 186. Instead of the sum, I wanted an average. So I can use the average aggregate operator and I can show you that. 
and here you can see that our skills new is 93 now which is the average so this is actually a kind of a nice way to use unwind and uh, uh, various uh, grouping operators so i'm going to remove this grouping operator for a second so you can see how the average was 93 so you can see 87 plus 99 divided by 2 would have been 93 so thank you for watching this short screencast if you want to learn more uh, you can uh, go to my website go associate and i'm going to put this video under mongodb uh, unwind and uh, thank you and you have a great day